What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of JY Throws and I'm coming to you from New York today. I'm outside of the armory and super excited. I got a competition today against Natsay, which should be a lot of fun. It's my first competition against him and we've been training together for like three years, so really excited for that. Also, we've got Joe Kovacs here. It's his first indoor meet since 2014 and it's my first real indoor meet as a professional shot putter. So super excited, a lot of good things to look forward to and I really don't know what to expect. I'm just gonna go in, try to keep my technique together try to do what I've been doing and as long as I focus and really hit my positions the adrenaline should take over and that should be good for power and distance. I'll try to get as many videos as I can and if not I'll give my camera to Martin or I'll have him record and get the videos from him. Anyway, doesn't concern you guys but I will see you guys in a bit. Wish me luck. Not that it makes a difference because I will have thrown already by the time you see this but let's get it. You excited buddy? I'm excited Jordan. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, I'm coming to you from the end of my practice today. It kind of took the whole practice for me to figure out what I wanted to say about this weekend and how I threw. There's a few good things and a few bad things, but ultimately all of the bad things will end up being good things because now I just learned a couple things that I need to work on and some things that I need to consider. So the first thing I want to give props to Nate. It was the first time that he beat me in really any uh, even practice or anything like that. So super awesome for him, super happy, and it pumps me up because now it's extra motivation to come get him back in the next meet. So just a little fun rivalry to get me going and give me some more motivation to just keep training. Another thing that I took away from this was how crappy it is to train so hard and have such a crappy result. And it's the first time that I've ever really had a meet that didn't reflect how hard I was training. That being said, I did have a really big warm up that I actually got some snap out of my hand and felt kind of connected with and it was really easy and it was like 1950. So I know that my 1840 in the competition could have just as easily been 20 meters had I connected with it and got a nice finish. And the whole finish thing I've been working on and I'm going to continue to work on it. But because of a wrist injury and forearm problem that I had last week and the week before that, I just am not consistent enough with the feeling of the snap right now. So I just didn't find it unfortunately in the competition. But it was the very first meet of the year. So anyway, all of the bad things can also be some positive and know that I don't ever want to feel that feeling again. So if I train harder and if I really focus on my technique and hip positions, I will throw far. And this is nothing more than just a, a opener meet that I just didn't connect with. Anyway, let's get into practice and I'll see you guys for another clip at the end of practice. Last week, I think it was Ryan, maybe two weeks ago, Ryan Krauser posted a video of him doing a drill where he was throwing the ball up to himself, catching it in his power position and then just finishing his throw. And it really brought me back to when I was first learning to throw and a bunch of the med ball drills and things like that that I was doing. So I took his and I modified it a bit. So I was just throwing it and having it bounce off the ground, which you'll see in a second. But I really liked the thought and going back to just trying to catch it, getting my feet in the right position with my uh, the toes pointed towards the sector line, catching the ball and really turning through and trying to feel my hips turn. So that's a big feeling that I know I need to find the shot put is getting my hips all the way through. And I also think it's really helping discus and more and more every day in discus. I'm really feeling myself work and grinding into the ground and I'm liking that so I want to keep working on it and keep doing this drill. Watch 
I remember to look back. I have a tendency to want to start to go with my head first thing. So head back, keep it with it. Uh, the other thing I'm trying to work on is getting a decent shoulder width base. Uh, so I'm in a nice powerful position to push into the throw. It's feeling like I'm a bit narrow, so I'm not quite balanced on the finish. So get a bit wider and keep my toe pointed towards the throwing area instead of this being blocked off and closed so I can't turn into it. So open up enough that my hips can get all the way through. Those are the main focuses I'm thinking. foot felt closed and my feet felt narrow on that one so let's go now I think my head went without it Anyway, that's the drill I've been doing and I've really been liking it for the feel of getting my hips through and it's only been like a week that I've been actually doing the drill. So in a few weeks of doing it and I'm going to continue to do it every day, I'll see if the results start to show in the actual throwing. But it feels like it's definitely helping for discus. So if it carries over the shot, I'll be super happy. If not, then I don't need to do it forever. But right now I'm really liking the feel and I think it's going to ultimately do some really good things over the course of a few weeks when I start to get it ingrained in my muscle memory to really work all the way through and get a good nice wide base and just drill that every day. I want to get the hand nice and warmed up. So the first thing, start with some slams into the ground. They're super low impact and an easy way to get it moving. And then I'll just do some throws into the mat to loosen it up further. Oh yeah, feel that snap. I'm going to go on the stand throws out of the ring and today I really want to just focus on going slow, nice and easy and I just need to drill finding that snap out of my hand and just really get that feeling. That's all I need to find over the next couple weeks. Alright, I'm going to move on to some nice easy full throws and I heard from another thrower that Ryan Krauser's main focus out of the back is to really load up his left leg. It's my right leg since I'm left-handed, but really just focus on loading up this leg and not even focus on what the off leg's doing. And yeah, he's got thousands of throws, so he doesn't need to focus on a whole bunch of different things. But I think making one of the main focuses to really load this out of the back and be nice and balanced so you can get to the middle in a nice upright, powerful position is gonna be key. So I wanna focus on that today. I really like that feeling of just thinking long over this side and I think thinking about that will help keep the ball on a long orbit outside of the ring that if I get a nice good wide base position with like nice shoulder width apart it'll allow me to help keep the ball on its orbit more like Krauser does and that's one of the big things I'm missing I'm pulling the ball off its orbit and twisting on the finish so if I can keep it long and in line nice and straight Things can go far. Hold the right, just same thing, twist on the finish. Wide and straight. It's looking like it's looking like I'm really blocked off. Like right here. I think if I can get it a bit wider just to feel a nice good shoulder width base, and it'll allow me to push up onto it. Nice and slow. Load the right. So on my reverse, if I line up all the forces correctly, I've got a nice wide base and I turn everything into it, all of my power should be going straight down the middle. And on that reverse, 
it should be a more linear reverse and on my reverses my feet are pretty much switching places so that's telling me that I'm like pulling off of it and crossing my body to jump over instead of keeping the ball on its orbit nice and getting a nice straight push and reverse. So that's a feeling that I really want to try to find and it's just going to be really working getting my feet positioned right and just trying to I think consciously think about keeping the ball in its orbit for now until it's just muscle memory and I can do it every single time. Felt a bit better, it just felt like I was kind of collapsed here instead of really working everything up and into it, but uh, this is first throw. Load the right leg, push it straight. It's feeling a bit better, just keep working it. It's feeling better, it just doesn't feel like I'm getting a good block and driving up over top of it. it just feels like I'm kind of here on the finish. So I uh, like the feeling of it on orbit. Let's see if maybe I can get a bigger block and drive up on top of that block leg to get a nice tall finish. Uh, I feel like I tried to get a better block, but then pulled off. Better block, push it straight. Dang it. I just felt like I was in the air trying to push it, like, um, which you have no power from the air. So I need to just continue to work it on the ground, keep it nice and long. Load the right, good solid base, push it straight. Going on to discus, and the biggest difference that I'm feeling right now in my discus compared to my shot foot is in discus on the finish, I'm really feeling keeping this, my right arm, nice and long on the finish, and then that's helping the discus come through on a long path also. So, yeah, I'm thinking long out of the back, and then on the finish, really important thing, long right arm, long left arm, and just try to get a good block and turn into it. Same thing, just want to make sure that my hips are nice underneath me out of the back and I'm reaching nice and long over this, not letting my hips drop back. Okay, just getting anxious now, really pulling off the finish. So keep it long and long. All right. Make sure I'm keeping the disc with me, it's probably getting behind why I'm also pulling off the finish. So. Disc with me, keep everything nice and long. Yeah, I felt much better. I felt like everything was aligned and I was actually getting my power into it. do a couple more throws. Martin said to not do too much, but it was feeling good, so just wanted to get a couple reps in. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for practice for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I am super happy with how things were feeling today. I'm going to continue to try to work on as many positions as I can to mimic Krauser's throw. I think him and I are similar heights, and if I continue to get stronger, then we can be similar strength levels. I think I can go as fast as him, so if I can dial in my technique and hit some of those big positions he's doing, I'm sure I can uh, at least get somewhere in the ballpark of where he's at. I just know that he has you know, hundreds of thousands of throws at this point, and I have 
a, a few thousand probably in shot put. So I've got a lot of catching up to do, but I've got all his videos, I've got my coach, I've got my brain, and I've got uh, some hard work ethic that I'm gonna continue to grind, hit those positions and really focus on it, work those drills that I think are all gonna help pay off in the end. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Hopefully I'll be back with some more consistent videos now that everything's kind of feeling all right. Uh, knock on wood, but uh, yeah, see you guys then.